Hello everybody, I am Connor. I'm a part of the executive team here at Imperial Software Solutions. I just want to come on here and talk about our new Fire Medical MDC that we recently released. Uh, if you have any questions navigating through the system, you can always check in our documentation here. It provides all tabs related to the system itself. So if you're not sure what a certain item means or value means, you can always come on here and confirm it for yourself. You can also open a ticket in our Discord and our support team will gladly assist you. Alright, this is what the page will look like when you first launch it. It'll prompt you to enter in your call sign and your department. So we'll go ahead and do a test one. And then you're just going to press login. It'll load up the software and it'll give you an option to go on duty. So you press that and then you have a couple statuses up here that you can utilize. So available quarters, available district, out of service and training status. You can also press up here to edit your unit just in case you need to. We're going to go ahead and move on to the incident tab. So what the incident tab is basically your call. You're going to create about your call, talk about it, uh, put the information in there that's accurate. Uh, we'll put some information in there just to fill it in. We'll do a test call. Just entering in the information here. And for additional information, you can enter the first call note that will appear in the call. So testing, do not remove. Perfect. You've been assigned to a call. And then once you press it, it'll let you know that your call has been generated and then also pop up here. So when you click into this, it'll show you your entire call, show you everything about it. It'll show your updates, your response, your, and your location. So updates is basically your call notes. You can type anything in here, enter hello, and it'll pop up right here. Scrolling down, it shows all the information here. If you do need to change a value in here, you can easily do it. Just switch the value and then press save at the bottom. It'll let you know your call information has been updated. And as you can tell, it has been updated. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the patient tab. So what the patient tab is, is basically for your patient. It's going to provide you some prompts such as the demographic, the contact, history, allergy, and medication. Uh, the cool thing is, is these are all enterable. So you don't have to import a civilian or you don't have to import a patient. You can easily create it here. Um, the cool thing is we do have patient and civilian imports. So you can easily search a patient by their name or their social security. So we'll look them up by my name. It's going to be right here. It'll pop up. Once I import it, it'll automatically populate into here and give all the information. The cool thing is if I do not know um, if they are a patient with us, I can go and check for their civilian if I know they are in the system. We'll go in and type in my name. And then it pops up with all the civilians that are in the system. We're going to click on my name and it'll also auto populate here. If you do enter in a civilian at the bottom it'll prompt you to create a patient so it'll create it into the database and then that'll just switch the patient the civilian search off and put it onto the patient import we're just going to put my name here just for an example um, moving on so we're going to go ahead and go over to the vitals tab and the vitals tab is very important when dealing with a patient you need to know what they're being treated with uh, you have AVPU, which is alert, focal pain, and unresponsive. You just select one. Which side they're on, which position, and then you'll start here at the left. Blood pressure. Get their blood pressure. This is going to be the top number, and this is going to be the bottom number of the blood pressure. Pulse. You have your, your the pulse rate, your method, your rhythm, and your strength. Um, then you have your respiration, your SpO2, ETCO2, and CO, your temperature, your scoring, your ECG readings, and then your pain scale. And then at the top right, you can press save and it'll save all the information here. Moving on, we're gonna go ahead and go to the narrative tab. This is basically your assessment of the patient. Um, so we'll just put in some random values here. Um, you have such as your primary impression, your secondary impression protocol use, etc. your signs, your chief complaint, patient injured, barriers to care, factors, the transport of the patient, and the narrative. So we're going to go ahead and fill in some of that information now.
All right, and once you are done filling out your narrative, you'll go ahead and press this button at the bottom, create an attached narrative to call. Once that's done, you'll be able to view your narrative report right here. We're back at the incident tab, and you're able to immediately just press on your narrative report. Portable now, including law enforcement. So you can just press the export button right there, and then it'll use a care report. So you have your patient, your EMS unit, your assessment of the person. Cool thing is you can also import your vital straight into here. So you don't have to reiterate it. You just click this and it'll enter in the information from your vitals. Um, enter these as well. All these questions here that you'll answer, your signature and your narrative, and then you'll scroll up and just finish putting in the information. Um, we'll start at the top, the gender. You, the cool thing is you can also import your patient directly from the patient tab. So you just press import and it'll automatically import your patient from the patient tab. Primary complaint test, and we'll just continue through. Uh, patient injured, no, 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 yes. And then usually all the boxes are also yes. Going through, you'll get the patient signature. So we'll type in their name. We'll say their name is Daniel Cruz. And then my name is the EMS unit. And then you'll type in your narrative, testing narrative. And then you'll go ahead and press save. And then it'll let you know your refusal care report has been saved and closed. If you need it, you can access the call information, which is basically the in incident tab, and you'll be able to go and view that form there. If you click it, it'll automatically populate with the information that you just had. Moving on to your patient care report. This is basically just one big report of everything that you've done, so you can easily import the information here. You're going to import your patient, your incident, your vitals, which will pop up right here. We're also going to fill in this information because this information is required when we'll just put some random numbers when finishing the report just put some random numbers here just so we can get through this and once you're done right here you can also import your narrative and it'll automatically populate with the information there and then you can also type your name for the signature and then your narrative for the patient care report itself. You can go in and press save at the top right. It'll let you know your patient care report has been saved. Same thing, you can also access that right here in your patient care report forms. And then patient care report forms. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and go to the fire investigation form. Just as the same as the others, um, but these ones don't have much of an import as these are information that you'll get directly from the call itself. So you have your incident, your occupants and owners inside a fire, your response, your assessment, and your signature to determine everything. You'll also be able to press save, and then it'll automatically save that form for you once it's been filled out. You can also press over here at the top right. It'll go in and bring you back to your, your call just in case you need to access it quickly. And then you can press home over here to return yourself to the main screen to view all the calls in your community. You can also view all the fire units right here at the bottom. Some more statuses that appeared after you were attached to the call are arrived and route and complete. It'll prompt you and let you know that you are the primary unit on the call. Would you like to close the call? Note, this will delete any vital and narrative assessments attached to the call. This will not remove any forms attached as action cannot be undone. So what that means is once you detach yourself from the call, your vital and narrative assessments that you have created will automatically be deleted. This does not mean that the forms you have created have will be deleted. This just means the vital and narrative assessments you have done. So let's go ahead and hit no. As you can tell, you are not assigned to a call anymore. So these four tabs are inaccessible unless you are attached to a call. So we'll go ahead and attach ourselves back to the call. You've been assigned to a call. And you can see that we have no more vitals here. 
but we can see here scrolling down that we do have our patient care report that we filled out with all the information related from narrative and your vitals. Returning back to home and that is it for the fire slash medical MDC. If you guys do have any questions relating to the fire slash MDC, feel free to ask in our discord and our support team members will gladly assist you. Thank you guys.